at all. Today I will demonstrate you how to draw a Christmas tree using triangle in C language. So it is very easy. I want to draw a Christmas tree. So output that I want, it look like this. It means I want the pyramid like this. Then I want the pyramid that starts from three, then from four. And then I, I need the has a symbol over here. So how we can draw the triangle? So whenever you want to draw a pyramid type of triangle, first of all, you must need to understand that how we can draw the triangle. So how we can draw the triangle from square, how to draw the square that also we need to know first. For example, I want to draw a star and that is a, for example, I want a five star and I want a three rows. It means these are the five stars and I want a three rows. So here you can give the title that this is the row number. So I'm simply writing the row number is one, two and three. Here you can initialize this with variable i. This is my column. So I'm simply writing one, two, three, four and five. So you can initialize with your column j. So very simple, whenever you want the three rows, so you can start your one loop with the i is equal to one, two, three. And you can write one loop that is j equal to one to five. And you can print the star and you will get the output like this. So let's do the same thing in C language. So I'm taking here two variables, integer i equal to integer i and j. Then you can write a loop for integer i is equal to one plus the or equal to 3 i plus plus now here you can write integer j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 5 and j plus plus it means j will run up to number of times that you want the columns so i'm simply writing here printf star and then i'm giving symbol space so that space also we will calculate Whenever you compile, whenever you write build and run, then you can see that the output available over here are exactly the same, that is uh, five columns and three rows. So one, two and three rows are available over here. Now, suppose if you think that, sir, I want a five by five, it means five row and five columns. Then you can simply write like this, that is a build and run whenever you build and run you will get the output like this that is 5 by 5 now i want the same thing on paper so what we can do over here that we can write here star 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 so you can say it's a one kind of square once you're able to get the square then you can definitely convert this square into triangle so I want now triangle from this particular square. So how we can get the square? Simple. You can see if you see carefully, then if you want the triangle, then we can write like this. That is uh, in one row, I want the one. In second row, I want the second, three, four, and five. It means my J should be run up to I. It means if J is three, then it will print 3 star if i is 3. If j is 4 and i is 4, then it will print the 4 star. It means my j will run up to it reaches the value of i. So if you make simple changes in your program, that j should be run up to it reaches to the i, then you will get exactly the triangle that we want, that is a left aligned triangle. But we don't want the left aligned triangle. We need that is a pyramid. So the question is how we can convert the left aligned triangle into pyramid. So I have a simple logic for this particular thing that how we can convert the left aligned triangle into pyramid. So if you look carefully, then this is a star. Then one space is there. So you can say that. A first star is there, then second star is available after one space, so the second star is available at third place. 
then if you see carefully then you will find that the next star is available at 1 3 5 and 7 1 3 5 7 and 9 so now you can see that see suppose if you think uh, over here if you calculate over here then this is the one star then second space third four five six seven eight and nine at this particular place i have a star now i want to convert this pyramid this triangle into pyramid so how we can do this very simple it is if you give four space before this value that is it means it is at the one place suppose if you give a four space over here before printing this star then one two three and four space if you give first four space then this star will be displayed at the fifth position that is over here now suppose if you give a three space over here before this then the star is at the one and three that will give the three space so one two and three so star at the one and three will be displayed at the four and six now if you give a two space over here then the star at the one three and five we, uh, so before this star if you give two space that is one and two so two space over here then your star will be displayed over here that is three five and seven now here suppose if you give a one space then the star at the 1, 3, 5 and 7 will take the first space. So it will be displayed at we moved 1 space. So 2, 4, 6 and 8. Now if you are not giving any space, then the star will be displayed at the 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So you can consider that it takes only zero space so after giving the proper space over here your this left aligned triangle will be converted into pyramid so how we can do this over here so very simple before printing the star we need to give the space so before printing the star if you want to give a space you can take one more loop over here that is k equal to one k less than or equal to for example four k plus plus if you write here k less than or equal to 4 k plus plus and suppose if you are writing here that is a space then what happened it will take every time 4 space so as a result what happened the 4 space will be moved over here that is 1 2 3 and 4 but I don't want to give 4 space in every star I want to give 4 star over 4 space over here but I want to give here only three space so if you want to decrease the space then here you can start your k with i so what happened your i will be 1 so 1 to 4 2 to 4 3 to 4 4 to 4 and 5 to 4 as a result you can see that your triangle is converted into that is left aligned triangle is converted into pyramid but now the question is I want the pyramid that is like this it means I want the row that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 row I want the 7 row I did over here that is 5 row so very simple here you can say that I equal to 1 I less than or equal to 5 and here you can make it here that is a 6 so as a result you can check that the first triangle that is pyramid is printed over here now i want the another triangle that start with the three so very simple it is now once you get the triangle you can simply copy this now you can start it with the three so whenever you start with three you will get the exactly the same result that you want on the paper now i want the another pyramid that starts from four so very simple you can simply copy the same for loop now instead of i equal to one you can start from i equal to four so whenever you write i equal to four now you will get the result and that is the third triangle that is third pyramid one two and three so all three pyramids are available over here 
Now I want the output like this. It means I want the hash symbol. But if you look over here carefully, then the five spaces are there. It means one, two, three, four, and five spaces are there. So once you give the proper spaces over here, then then you will get the result over here. So very simple. If you want the has, then you can write here for integer that is i equal to one, i less than or equal, for example, seven, because we want the has seven times. So seven rows we want. For each row, we want the has three times. So I'm writing j equal to one, j less than or equal to three, j plus plus. So now here you can print your has, and you can see that after each printing of has for each row, you can put the new line. Now whenever you run this particular code, then you will be able to see that the has is coming over here, but it is not perfect. We want that the has should start from here. It means one, two, three, and four space before the has is required. So very simple it is before printing the has, you can write here that is k equal to one, k less than or equal to, for example, four, k plus plus. Now, if you give exact one space for each four times, now you will be able to access the same thing, and now you can see that exactly the same results that we want on the paper that is available over here, and that is you can say that. The Christmas tree program that I want on the paper like this, and the same program that is available on my screen. So you can develop this kind of program in C language. You can draw the Christmas tree like this by using the triangle. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.